a short se shorter season, more more intense, more um, compact season, which is going to be demanding on my team. It's going to be demanding on, on us drivers, and um, there's not going to be enough time, the same amount of time for development through the year. So how we analyze every week from you know the couple of days in between races and how we bounce back and lift up all these different things. It's going to be a challenge of the mind and the body, I would say, more than any other season before. Is this the season that Valtteri Bottas is crowned Formula One world champion? That's the, that's the goal. Nothing else will, will do this year. And I've been really trying to do everything I can for that during these last few months of not racing. So um, I feel like we've had a good preparation as a team as well. We are definitely not going to be as competitive as, competitive as we were last year round here. Uh, but uh, yeah, I still have the hope of having a good surprise in qualifying once we put everything together. I think it's been an uh, interesting time for all of us uh, with the ability to you know, look, look after uh, some things that maybe you didn't have time otherwise, um, share some thoughts with your closest ones that uh, otherwise you don't really get to, get to share. Of course I would have liked to see the full calendar, like, uh, uh, but that's, we can't change that, that's uh, at the moment. Um, you know, we just have to deal with it. Um, but it's a good start two times here, at, you know, in, in, in Austria at the Red Bull Ring. Uh, we have good memories here as well. The sim is fun, but um, racing is a lot more fun. And uh, to be here now, it feels like it's come actually really quickly. Um, but no, I'm excited. Yeah, I think we can keep up the momentum of last year. It's going to be very difficult to keep it up because we have a very strong contenders coming from behind. But at the same time, I think we have everything in place to try and uh, tackle it. I do my best at all times. Um, I work with the team very closely. You know, I, I live very close to McLaren because of of it being easy to go in and drive the simulator, go in and see see whoever I need to see. You know, so um, I'm already doing everything I can to, to work with the team closely. For us, it's going to be different without fans and everything else, but we're going to be able to race. All all drivers are here. All teams are here. And uh, I think that's really what, what matters now, is we, we get to compete and put on a show. I've been uh, waiting a year and a half to come back on, on to the grid for Grand Prix. Uh, so I can't wait to, to be back and, and be back racing. There are good expectations, you know, I want to be in the points straight away. It was good to be at home, but I missed the competition and, and the races and the racing so much. Um, but at least now we're going to have adrenaline um, every weekend. So I would say that uh, it's been a long break now. So I think we just uh, come, you know, uh, with a, a reset, quite calm, and we just do our job. We see, we see where we stand in terms of competitiveness. And to, just to be back, it, it feels great. You know, I I just want to I get racing. I want to to start the competition and and, and start the. The good thing, I, I really believe that it, it will be a strong year for, for our team. It was, it was nice to recharge the batteries for a bit, not going to lie. There was something, something special about it, but it's great to be back, great to be, uh, to be racing again. I think everyone back home is, uh, is excited to see some Formula One. I don't know where we're going to be. I don't think anybody knows. Especially it's always difficult after the, after the testing and then especially people are bringing up upgrades and um, you know it's we'll, we'll figure it out this weekend and go from there and um, uh, see what, what what the season brings in the uh, last this in this last month it was a little bit more easy and uh, we try to analyze everything difficult to you know to improve the car in that moment so so we'll see tomorrow the, our car is uh, quite similar to the one we had in Melbourne so we need to understand just where uh, where we are the car felt different to to last year's car which was a good thing because last year was very, very inconsistent, and we wanted to, you know, move away from 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 last year's car. We uh, we've done a good job, and uh, I'm confident that we've got a strong baseline to start. Obviously, it was five months ago, so we don't know what the other teams have, have been bringing and then which update they have and how much performance they, they could have on their cars. But we know what we have, we know what we can focus on. I think every year is important. I think if any driver in Formula One is complacent you know they they're not there for very long and I think from my side you know I want to be a race winner I want to be a world champion and I'm going about every single race as if that is my opportunity to you know propel myself to to give me that opportunity the overall situation it's probably an easier environment to make the debut in just because one it's a track I know uh, you don't have as uh, many of the media sponsor uh, fan commitments that you would normally and you know all that stuff will be minimal and let's say those distractions if you will I mean, it, it is what they are because our, our job is to focus on the driving and working with the team.